Hi, this is Gilly Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you feeling today? I hope you are happy and not angry because our quote of the day is, holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone. You are the one who gets burned. And this is said by Buddha. Also Yoda from Star Wars said it really well when he said fear leads to anger, anger leads to hatred, and hatred leads to suffering. And this is so profound because all of our negative emotions that we hold will lead us to suffering. To be angry is not our natural state. Think of how much addiction health issues and misery would be spared from the world if more people understood that they can be freed of their anger. There are many examples of negative emotions, but when you sum them up, most of them come down to one specific negative emotion, and that is anger, either directly inward towards us or outward towards something else. Anger directed outward takes the form of jealousy, disgust, annoyance, or hatred, and anger directed Inward, for, it takes the form of guilt feelings, um, a depression, fear. These are just a few examples. Anger is not a good feeling, even though at times it can move us to action. There are much better ways to move ourselves to action than through anger. Anger is a destructive, negative emotion, and all of the body is functioning poorly when we are angry. All of our organs become stressed and disease results from a chronic state of anger. Even our ability to think is impaired. We do not communicate well and we do not treat people as they should be treated when we are angry. We have trouble sleeping and when we do sleep, we clench our teeth. Anger affects our body so much only because anger comes from within us. Anger never comes from outside of us. Any situation outside of us is not the real cause of our anger. We are the cause of our anger. Our thinking is the cause of our anger. It is a weakness of our state of mind that causes our anger. But since anger is not a natural emotion for us, we can remove it from our lives. There are two things that we must do in order to stop feelings of anger. We are angry because we give our anger justification meaning that our anger is justified by us in some way. When we are angry and we believe that we have a good enough reason to be angry, then we are justifying our behavior. If we cannot convince ourselves or others that we have a right and deserve to behave in this way, in this angry way, then anger will not have a place in our life anymore. The second thing that we need to do to remove anger is to stop identifying ourselves with the situation, stop taking it personally. When we uh, don't take something personally, it will not affect us. For example, a big weather disaster can happen and not have any effect on us, not make us angry in any way. Since we do not identify with it, we do not take it personally. On the other hand, if someone cuts us on the street, then this can make us angry for a whole day. People who protest about something uh, are angry because they identify with the problem. They take it personally. Once we justify being angry and take the situation personally, then we will have anger in our life. With the example of the car cutting us in the street, we justify that the driver must have uh, been an idiot, doesn't know how to drive. So we have a right to get angry and we identify with the situation by thinking that they should have seen me on the street. How could they have missed my car? And then we take it personal. But if we choose that we never have a right to get angry, we never have a real uh, right, we should never justify the, uh, our need to get angry, then nothing uh, and that nothing has to do with us personally, then we are free from anger. Even in a relationship, if your partner says something to you that you feel you have a right to get angry about, and they and that they said it specifically to you, meaning they said it to you personally, then you will dwell in anger. But you can change your perspective, and you can say to yourself that you 
shouldn't ever justify getting angry and that your spouse probably behaved like this because they had a bad day at work or they are hungry, then you will not get angry. And this will spare you a lot of suffering and will ensure that you are healthier for longer and have peace of mind and also are in a better, healthier relationship. All are components of a successful life. You can state that you feel that you were wronged, of course, but uh, state it in a, an assertive way. I made a video about this and I will link to it at the end of this video. Use, be assertive and do not use anger, which will immediately turn the other person against you in defense of themselves. You cannot be angry at anything that you cannot justify in your mind and you cannot identify with and take personally. We can do this when we stop blaming other people or things for the situations in our life. We need to stop blaming others and other situations. And this is the easiest way to stop anger in its tracks. So how do you stop blaming others? You do this by practicing taking responsibility for what happens to you. I have mentioned in a previous video that you can only entertain one thought at a time in your mind. So instead of holding a thought of blaming someone else um, for your situation, then change your thought to one that says, I am in charge. I am in control. When we feel in charge, when we feel in control, then no negative emotion can move us and grow in our mind. When we take full responsibility, uh, and take full control and take charge, then even the most negative emotions will disappear from our life. And in that moment of anger, right before you burst into this anger and burst out on the other person, say to yourself, I am in control. I am in charge. And stop, you can stop the explosion from happening. You are in charge of your emotions. When you justify them and identify with the situations and blame others for your situation, you will have negative emotions and you will feel anger. But when you feel in charge and take responsibility for yourself and feel control over the situation, then you will remove anger from your life. As with anything, this will take practice. And the more you do it, the better at it you will become. And smiling can also help. As we grow older, we collect more and more negative emotions and more and more reasons to be angry. We carry these reasons for being angry with, uh, with ourselves wherever we go. But we will never be able to fully control our destiny and our life if we keep holding on to these negative emotions and these reasons that we justify for getting angry. It is as if we're holding this huge rock on our back can you imagine how difficult it is to go through life holding such a rock on your back and taking it with you wherever you go? Well, we must release this anger and the thoughts that justify our anger, and we can do it. Our ego, of course, will interfere with this at first and will not want us to remove our anger from our life. But when we do replace angry and blaming thoughts with positive thoughts that we are in charge, that we are in control, and that we are responsible, then we will be free from the chains of anger. We must stop justifying our reasons to be angry and stop identifying with situations as if they are something that is personally against us. And when we do this, and when we stop also blaming others for our condition, then we will slowly become more in control, which will make us happier and more fulfilled in our life. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that you, the answer will help move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, where in my life or with whom do I find myself getting angry often? How am I justifying getting angry and how do I see myself as the reason for their behavior? And how can I change my perception and see that I do not need to take anything personally? Remember that no one is to blame for your anger. You have full capacity to remove it from your life through focused, practiced action. Think how removing act anger from your life could improve your life, your career, your relationships, everything. So as usual, I recommend writing this question and your answers in a notebook that you have especially prepared for this coaching session. 
So you can look over it and read it and understand how you would like to live your life as best for you. So to finish this video off with the affirmation of the day is I am in charge. I am responsible for my state of mind and for my feelings. I am in full control. I am in charge and I am responsible for my state of mind and my feelings and I am in full control. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you like this video. I hope it will help you heal from this very destructive feeling uh, of anger. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel, ring the notifications button to get notifications every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to help you move your life to a healthier place for you. Thank you very much for joining.